Hey everybody, it's Alan. Hope that you're doing well. It's January 6th, and that is the birthday of the percussionist from the band Chicago, Ladir de Oliveira. Um, he was in the band from the mid-70s, I want to say about 74, 75, all the way up until 1981, uh, and was a really, really close friend to um, Terry Kath. And uh, I guess was the last person in the band to see Terry before he passed away in 1978. So it's probably an interesting uh, memory that he had carried with him for the rest of his life. Anyway, we're going to listen to a couple of songs that feature the percussionist, Oliviera. And uh, first one's going to be a song called Happy Man. And then we're going to listen to Mongo Nucleosis.
Now, if I remember correctly, Oliviera came in as sort of a, a side musician that came in, I want to say in Chicago 7. And then he carried on through, you know, Chicago 10 and through uh, uh, um, a couple of post, you know, post Cap albums too. And then he left in 81. But he added a totally different flavor to the band by having those percussion instruments in there that, you know, I mean, they used percussion instruments before. I mean, go back to, uh, you know, go back to I'm a Man, you know, where you hear the breakdown or or a song like um, uh, The Beginning, uh, where, you know, the horn section basically starts playing percussion instruments when they're not playing horns. And so you hear their desire to have a percussionist in the band, but didn't have one in mind, at least from the onset of the group back in the late 60s. Then eventually they brought in uh, Oliviera, and he uh, he really filled in uh, an area that they were wanting sonically within the group, created different textures that they weren't normally thinking of initially when they were constructing their uh, compositions. So... Uh, it becomes very, very, very interesting. Now, with that last particular song, Mongo Nucleosis, every time I hear that song, I cannot help but hear, you know, part of it, you know, sort of that main phrase. I, I, I just I keep thinking to myself when I hear that, it's like, was that in the dating game or or the newlywed game or some kind of TV game show? I mean, am I. Am I imagining it that, you know, the Hollywood Squares or Match Game or something like that? Somebody somebody in the game show world, I feel like, used that or a similar phrase to that as one of their, I'm not saying the theme song, maybe the outgoing song as the credits rolled, but I just, I feel like I've heard that before in a non-Chicago you know, music oriented type of thing, but more in a game show, television show type of thing. And I just can't quite put my finger on what it was that I'm, you know, associating that with. I don't know. Maybe I'll never know because I just not going to take the time to find out. But if any of you know, please feel free to leave a comment so we can talk about it further. I would appreciate any insight because I am sitting here racking my brain and I just cannot put a title, you know, a uh, a TV show title to that, but I I know there's something really 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 similar and I really do believe it was in a game show. Anyway, with that said, hope y'all enjoyed this tribute and uh please feel free to read a, blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. Please feel free to write a comment in the comment section and we can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate y'all and I wish you well. Take care.